Hey guys, I decided to go ahead and make a video showing you how I implemented the 12 week year, uh, the first quarter of this year. So uh, you'll see here that, um, like everything else, it has a 12 or a three character um, designation, 12W. Like all of my other projects, again, these are all my work related projects. These are all kind of personal and miscellaneous projects and tasks and reference down here, so 12 week years right here. Now I'm gonna pop that open. Um, I really, these first five weeks of the year, uh, I had read the book late December, or in December, I guess, again, decided to implement it uh, starting the first of the year. It really took me about four or five weeks to um, brainstorm narrow things down and finally by week five I decided exactly what I wanted to do and deployed it in uh, into the next week week six so uh, really it was a six week year for me um, but extremely productive so uh, I'll, I'll jump into like week eight here so you can see what it looks like um, I use the uh, workflow aid date date tagging uh, to pretty quickly tag what the week was um, and then uh, I found like I said in my in my post uh, I really dropped uh, health I did some stuff on health uh, that was helpful uh, but mainly focused on some financial infrastructure projects and some work related infrastructure projects for my construction management company so I'll just I'll jump into the work related one and so what I did was I decided what I wanted to do so what what this particular project was was taking uh, taking everything from the first time somebody contacts me until the contract signing and creating um, a process um, some support documents to really streamline that make sure I was working with accurate data from the start of the project uh, making sure I didn't miss key things so it really was just taking things that um, for the most part I've been um, kind of haphazardly doing for several years um, and and packaging them into a notebook that that comes with each job so you can see uh, you can see here these are all circa notebooks I'll pull out one and uh, so this is a notebook so I created essentially it was a series of documents uh, so it was just a, a series of documents that I walk through from start to finish on a project that takes me from the first time somebody contacts me if I get a phone call asking uh, somebody new asking me to look at a kitchen remodel I pull out a fresh notebook turn to the first contact page and then I have a series of questions that I ask them uh, and then at the first time I look at the project I have a series of things I do preliminarily to see if it's going to be a good fit for me and them and then uh, forward from there getting the information doing the the takeoffs uh, so it's just really creating a, a, a very tight flywheel for that whole process to try and make it as uh, accurate and uh, compact chronologically as possible so I, that was the idea in my head I just wanted that time from first contact to contract signing to be as tight and detailed and accurate as possible uh, and so I had pictured having a process from start to finish with a series of questions and things to fill out kind of a, a work set of worksheets to fill out that was the picture in my mind um, I kind of knew what I wanted that to look like and so I broke down uh, what I would need to do to accomplish that into about 20 different tasks I guess and then I uh, just had them in order and then I just grabbed what I thought I could do you know for the first week and put that into that week and then the next week all the way through to completion um, I'll go ahead and uncomplete it so it's a little easier to read uh, so this was week eight which was the third week of my 12 week year because of I started late and so these are this is how I write my tasks so every task that I do looks like this it has 
um, an at tag designation for the project and the phase. This has this has more phases uh, than than my typical project uh, because it's multiple weeks and then multiple projects inside of each week. Um, and then this is the actual task itself at computer and uh, story point value for Scrum. Uh, so basically what I would do is I would go in, I'd jump into my 12 week year, jump into that week, um, and then I would highlight those and I would tag those with Sprint. So here you can see they're tagged with Sprint and now all the tasks from all of my projects that I've designated as Sprint related have that tag. And then uh, I just uh, search for hashtag Sprint each day. Um, add hashtag in process uh, into each each task from my sprint planning I want to do each day or work towards each day um, and then I then I do them so I had in order for this to really work for me I had to get it all the way through till it acted just like any task that I uh, that I use in any project um, I had to it had to operate just like everything else or else it would have kind of been left out of my system. So I had to figure out what I wanted to do for my 12-week year, figure out the tasks, and then I needed to make it look like all my other projects and all my other tasks. So it would just automatically be implemented into my weekly and daily planning. As soon as I got it all the way there, it worked really well. Um, and the way I actually did these tasks for the most part I talked to my wife and um, after the first couple of weeks uh, we realized I was kind of being a little bit haphazard it was I was very motivated to get it done but it was a little bit haphazard I was trying to squeeze it in between other stuff um, which was necessary but then we decided I was just going to designate uh, from six to seven in the morning every morning uh, which Gracie agreed that she would take care of the kids and getting them ready and out to the bus and I would just come in here and, and be able to focus on this. So I had basically an hour each day, each week uh, weekday uh, for me just to really focus on getting these tasks done. And, um, you know, so you add that up five hours a week times uh, ended up being six weeks. That's 30 hours I had to, to designate to this more or less. And that was plenty for me to knock these tasks out. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how it worked. And like I said, um, I did some stuff on health, but just because I really, you know, I had about an hour a day, my work projects were the most important, uh, and then financial projects, creating some, basically some reports that made it easier for me to identify some key indicators in my finances. That was the second most important. Probably health is the most important, honestly, but um in terms of in terms of uh, things that I felt like I really needed to get knocked out in this first 12 week year that I could actually accomplish I ended up focusing on finances got almost everything financially related knocked out and got everything um, in the, the projects uh, created so anyway it worked really well for me hope that's helpful uh, let me know if you have any more questions Hey, I wanted to do a follow-up to that last video, and I'll tag it onto the video to explain something I thought somebody might have a question about. Um, going back to week eight, uh, you'll see flywheels, um, and I didn't really discuss those here. And actually, there's there's a reason because I don't think of flywheels in terms of projects. It's a, Flywheels are a different thing to me, so the way these actually were deployed was not through this node. That's not how I actually uh, triggered them. Um, uh, so let me let me go back there. So, for example, uh, five hours a week working on all finances. Uh, that's something I actually uh, already do in general uh, is uh, do my business accounting and reporting and analysis each week um, and I generally spend about five hours per week on that um, for the most part but I've identified that 
really getting that done, not just haphazardly, but really getting five hours per week um, is very helpful. Uh, weekly meeting to make plans and act financially. So that's something that my wife and I did together. Uh, because I was working five hours a week, my finances were updated and re the reports were completed each week. Uh, and then we would sit down, look at the finances, business and personal, make some specific financial decisions in line with another thing we're doing. Uh, it's Dave Ramsey uh, financial I can't remember what it's called, but uh, it's just a series of financial steps uh, for what he calls financial freedom. Um, so we'd make plans consistent with that based on the reports that I have uh, was able to update um, and schedule our financial meeting. I put that in the 12-week year because I decided those were the, the important things was to schedule a meeting, have the meeting, and work for five hours. Uh, but actually, my flywheels, you can see FLW's flywheels. I've got daily flywheels, weekly flywheels, monthly flywheels, and yearly flywheels. Um, is I deployed those into those flywheels. So I really didn't, I, I made sure they were in there. Uh, and then I kind of ignored that aspect of the 12-week year because it was already getting deployed elsewhere in my system. Um, still integrated with sprint planning and daily planning, um, but it was located not here, but uh, but in another node. So that's why I didn't really address it when I was talking about it, because it, those ended up being kind of superfluous. They probably, for future, if I have a flywheel that's accompanying, uh, so like unprocessed inventory meeting for Scrum daily planning, that was my daily and weekly flywheel for work projects um, and that was actually a, a conversations that I have with my wife um, probably what I'll do and for this next one is if there are any flywheel related things I want to do for for particular uh, things I want to accomplish in the 12-week year I'll just make a note maybe under you know in a you know just make a note here and kind of describe which flywheels I want to implement and where they're located in the system, but I won't embed them in all the nodes for each week, I don't think, because that didn't function for me. It might function for somebody else better like that if it's if it's embedded here under the 12-week year node. Uh, but that's what, for anybody that was looking at uh, my previous video, excuse me, my previous video and was wondering what the flywheels were, that's what that is. So anyway, hope that's helpful.